making an instrument that makes sweet music. A man along the shoreline spends his days making violins and cellos. Technically, he's called a luthier. News 8's photojournalist R.J. Tattersall visited him in Clinton today as part of our Working for Connecticut series. Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved to build things. I was always building things. And so for me, it was a natural, it was a natural progression. I mean, I played cello since I was a little kid. And then I love woodworking, I love making stuff, and I had won art awards for my drawings and my stuff in school. So really the three disciplines right there just fit perfectly. I've always felt this was like my calling. I actually studied to be a minister for a couple of years, but in the midst of that, realized that my real calling wasn't the ministry, my real calling was this. And I've never, never looked back. There are a lot of guys who make cellos, but I specialize in cellos. And so that sort of puts me in a different category. Guys that specialize just in cello making, there's probably only six or eight of us in the whole world. And so cellists around the world just, I guess they, through the years, have known who, seen my name around and seen my cellos, and so they hear about me. And, and I don't really have to do a lot of marketing. I mean, they usually generally find me, which is nice. I sell a lot to students. Kids that are going into college who need a good instrument, and they don't have $150,000 to spend on a, you know, a modern Italian or a half a million to spend on an old Italian. So mine are very reasonable compared to those. It, it really is a passion. Mm -hmm.